Hello my good friends, uh, Roger again, uh, conflicted as I was uh, a year or so ago when I posted about this. This is Wa Anamus and uh, it is, I believe, a biological entity growing in the desert. So, I will present the evidence, you make the decision. Okay, it's Roger once again, Mount Foster University. Today we are going to review some work. I did a while back uh, with Val on the um, embryo in the desert and there's been some startling changes I think. Now Google Earth has changed yes but I don't think it's changed this much. So we're going to go through this and I'm going to start by showing the original work that I did here very briefly and I'm going to go in, bip, 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 in here and there and I will mention things and then we will go to the new images that um, that I believe uh, are quite a bit different. Alright I'm just gonna just let it go here and you just see what you see and see what you think but I believe I have extremely good supporting evidence to show that this is, is an unusual event and it is, is changing as we watch. So here we go. This is what the original video was, and this is only a couple of years ago. But I do have, I believe, a couple of years worth of uh, changes already shown in this video, which were dramatic. And now it is more dramatic-er. All right, so here goes. Okay, it's Roger once again from Bud Fossil University. Today, as conflicted as I have ever been in my life, this is, I believe, incontrovertible evidence that the earth is somehow biologically creating a life. If you can see this right here, I'm saying that's a sperm and that's the head of the sperm and these little indentations are the DNA and the reason I'm saying that is because of this. You see what you see here? There they are. They're all coming this way. You see it? Coming down, coming down. A zillion of them. Well, that is the second shot of ejaculation, and ahead of it is the lubricant that heads ahead of it. And I'm saying that because down here was the first shot of ejaculate that ended up impregnating this cell right here. And I have done extensive research on it. Okay, when I say I've done extensive research on it, I've looked at it for a long time and, and tried to examine what I could see from afar. I haven't been there, no, absolutely not. However, um, I can see what I see, you can see what I see, and uh, I don't know what you see, but this is what I see. That this thing is headed towards that thing, which I believe this thing is an embryo and that thing is the attachment on the uterine wall. Now I know it's on the face of the earth. I don't have an explanation for that other than it is here and it does conform to everything that has to do with biology. So this is what you're seeing now and 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 I'll play a little I'll try to find some close-up shots because I want you to see the difference in, in what has happened. All right, so stay with me. I'm going to try to find some shots that are meaningful so you don't have to watch all the little details. But you should. You should come up here and watch this. A visual birth on the earth seen in progress. But I'll try to switch through it. Hold on. Okay, let's just run with it until something uh, startling occurs here. Here we go. These are little stripes. And I'm going to show you uh, over a course of time how this cell has developed. So we have the sperm attacking the cell. These are the dying sperm which the blackness is killing off. The cell itself is moving towards the placental attachment it appears. It's a Alright, let me show you what we have discovered that relates to that. I'm going to go to Google Earth. Alright, well I think the the egg came from a fallopian tube, not exactly the same structure as this, but it has some very similar similarities. It, it has this kind of feathery look. 
it has a lot of blood, it has a lot of, it has a, a, an implantment just like this. Now this of course is the uterus and it's the fallopian tubes and that's what happens is the egg comes down and implants. Now I'm going to show you what we found on um, the uh, embryo in the desert. Alright, we had seen the little flutiness of the, um, of the uh, fallopian tubes and it comes down here and if you follow this down there appears to be some damage to I believe this is where that that egg somehow left out of the fallopian tube. I know it's not identical to what a, a, a human fallopian tube looks like. It's, it's not standing up. It's not walking around. It's not doing the thing, same things we do. It's like it's like uh, a go-kart, uh, we are, and uh, a Cadillac. They're not exactly the same, but they have similarities. Now, this, any doctor would say that is, is tissue that's damaged, and this is what damaged it. <laughs> and now it's, it's, it's fixing itself. That is, uh, that's a, a, a scab form, you know, over that uterine wall. And that thing migrated right there. It's, just, it's right there. Zoom. Now, and you can see it's in it's in it's it's moving it's it's moving out now look at this how much difference it's got since the last time that we looked at it it comes over here and look at the red spots the blood i mean it, if that's not blood i don't know what to say i mean you can say whatever you want to say but i'm saying it's blood and if this isn't blood and this isn't scabs oh well, i don't know i've seen a lot of scabs and that's to me that's scabs now there's all kinds of of tissue what I would think is these are little fascia uh, fibers because we are so loaded with fascia Jody and I have been studying fascia on you know for, for a lot of reasons but uh, it's fascinating and there is so many fascia fibers and they, they even surround every single cell just like this one now here's some more blood and if you look closely at that, that right there is the arterial blood vessel. That's a hole. That is not just some accidental thing. There. No. I believe this green color is extremely characteristic of, of what happens in kidneys. Now, I don't know if it is, it's what's going on there or not. Is there a salt? component here if this is extremely salty which it looks pretty salty to me I would say that we're working with natrium uh, salt, high salt content and that would be a component of a living creature is to, to work with you know making kidneys you laugh all you want but this is what I'm seeing and you can see what you want to see now this is all the DNA that we saw before and it's changed significantly very very significantly it was very, it was, it was much more um, spread out and I don't know whether we're just getting a lot better images now, but I'm telling you, this is not something that you're going to, it's not an accident, this stuff's not an accident. And why is it everywhere? Why is it over here and over here and over there? This is, this is something to do with tissue separation all these lines and things and this is something to do I think it's it maybe it's growing tissue I don't know but I do I to me it looks like DNA heads and when I saw the sperm coming over with those little they have the exact same thing in the heads of the sperms so take it from there whatever you want to think now on the outside look at this look at what you see in here right. this can I yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say exactly about this. I do have some ideas and they're not probably nothing I want to speak about. But anyway, because um, I don't have any ideas, could be anything, but it could be anything, that's exactly. <laughs> anyway, I believe this is coming to make an attachment here. Now, I can't remember, I don't think I showed the, the um, 
anatomical drawing of this attachment, which would be, this is the, literally in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, um, the placenta, when it feeds the baby, it's feeding the baby vein, vein blood. That's just the opposite of what you get. And I, I'm seeing them because it can't breathe. <laughs> it doesn't need the oxygen. All the other stuff's in there. But it goes backwards. It's totally opposite of of, um, of a human. I mean, of uh, your body. Now, this right here would normally be the vein. That would normally be black or blue. It's coming out red. I think it's because this particular is the attachment that's going to attach to the embryo over here. It's going to come up and slam into here and really plug in and make a little cord that attaches over. Now, that means it needs the valves, and it has the valve. That is not what's in the normal artery, but this is red blood. I know it's leaking red blood out of here, and I believe it's capping itself off as a vein does because it's a, it's a reverse plumbing. Now, this one over here is actually the vein, and it's wide open. That is not normal. That's absolutely backwards. Now, what's in between them is these two little round spots. You see this here? And this here, so you got the big one, you got this one, you got this one, and you got this one. Now, let's go see what the anatomy is. Well, all right, this is, this is the blood supply to the baby from the mother. Now, this is the placenta. I understand we are not where the placenta meets the uterine wall. I understand that. But this is what will eventually happen. And until it gets plugged in, you're going to have the availability for blood to supply this or to supply this. I'm not sure what is in that uterine wall at the attachment point, but we can see that you have the red, two red ones and two blue ones. Now, so you got two big ones and two small ones, really is what it boils down to. And, uh, and I believe that's what we're showing in that attachment spot. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. Because obviously, it's just laying on top of the surface of the earth. You can't go up there and send your regular gynecologist out there to, to do a physical examination. It's just not going to be precisely identical to the human uh, structure, obviously. So, you know, it's, it's got a lot of similarities. Okay, you saw what I have to show you from the uh, latest images from Google Earth. Now, this is back uh, 2017. I believe it was November 2017. I had this to say, and I showed at this point several years back prior the images that were from Google Earth. Now, some of you might want to go back and look at that, but here's we, we're going to just play it right now. Here it goes. It's obviously moving in this direction. The blackness is killing off the sperm. There is no sperm attacking from this side because it came from this side. This is exactly, remember those that, that shape of the, uh, the DNA I said? Here it is right here. You see that? And, I, and you don't see it as DNA, but if you look closely, you can see it, 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 it connects in here, and there are little tiny spots all the way across just exactly and you can see you see this you see this see those stripes that is exactly 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 what happens as the fibrils open up to attach to the dna strand and this not just this one here they're all over the place you see it here's another so over here they're all up in here. You see this? That's how DNA happens. And you see over here? You see all this stuff? Those are the fascia fibrils. You see that? All of this, you see more DNA? I, I'm just showing you what I'm showing you. And I'm showing you a sort of a... Like I said, I'm conflicted. This is, uh, this is the open. The cell is opening. When we started... Well, when I started looking at this... Or, or when we look back at it, let me put it this way, uh, uh, Val discovered it and we, we started looking at it together and when we went back on it, he went back and took all these pictures, we found out that there was a tremendous amount of activity and I will show you that. Another fellow went ahead and did the, uh, the video of it showing the time lapse of this, the changes where this shot out literally like a rocket ship to make attachment to this, which is the, the placental attachment. 
and this you can see this red flash in here I don't know it's leaking I believe that's the case this is the, the exact architecture of what's considered a vein valve and they clamp the, the, the vein blood off so they cannot leak back in, into where it was already used arterial connections have no restrictions and that's what I see here there are um, nerve and so forth um, entries and I see no other possibility that this is going to connect to this I can see the attachments growing and that's all I can say so I'm seeing a life being formed here in the desert all right um, several of us have been working on this together um, Val discovered this location when we were looking at some other things in this area and, um, and he has got, got a ton of information done a lot of work on this uh, and then uh, Steve Torrance put this together uh, this little video showing the time lapse of this particular place right here which is to my feeling this is exactly where this cell is going to divide if it's a cell. Now, you see this? This is, this is serious. There's some serious action going on here. And that didn't last long. Now, these, these, this is, goes back seven years, I believe. And this was the first pick. Now, I'm going to let this video run, and I'm going to try to stop it on each different shot. So here's the first one that we can get back to. There's, I don't know what happened before this, or I don't know any of this, but there's going to be all kinds of changes here. You see, you see these things? Just watch how seriously this thing changes. All right, so let's go to the next pick. All right, there's the next pick. They're gone. What happened? Now we got this. It's like it's saying, okay, get ready, you're going to be splitting, and I don't know what it's doing. This all changed dra dramatically. All this stuff changed. Now let's go to the next pick. All right, whoops, oh, I got it back to the beginning. Okay. Let's go a little further. There we go. Now, look at this. The heck is that? Look what happened over here. I have no explanations for any of this. None. All I can do is show you, and you can look, and you can think, and you can explain yourself, because I can't explain it. All right, here's the next one. I don't know what to say. Now we get in this striation, very, a, a lot, all kinds of changes going on. And I think we got two more. Okay, there's that one. Now we're getting some, something, I don't, I just, I don't know what to say. I have no clue what to say other than that uh, uh, something's growing here something's happening here these things weren't here last year and this will be the last one well I guess that was the last one alright and here's where it starts again <laughs> look at this that's totally 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 changing that's all I can say, and you see what I see, and that's we're, we're seeing it together. We have to think together. I have to think as a world. Because this is not some little uh, monkey bone curiosity. Think of what you're seeing here. This is not some silly little thing. So I wish someone of some status that had some resources, that had some authorities, could look into this and do something of an authoritative nature because this is not nobody has nobody is that concerned appears anyway um, it is what it is and um, I think it does need looking into